Hello, Web3 TV. I'm Lisa Amnegard, and today we're at the Future Sustainability Forum held here, right here in Dubai. And joining me right now is Fadi Al Faris, CEO of C Holdings. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. How's the day been so far? Yeah, it's so interesting. A lot of uh, activities and uh, so attractive. Yeah. You know, so many people. So many. And um, you are the CEO behind C Holdings, and uh, you develop many sustainable cities here in the UAE. So can you tell me, how does the sustainable city look like in 2024? So uh, thanks for this question. Uh, actually, we started in 2012 uh, with the idea of the sustainable city and developing while maybe others were like uh, building uh, uh, the conventional type of the communities and cities. So we started the sustainable city concept from the at very early stage after a detailed, uh, I would say, research in order to reach to this uh, concept that if it works or not. And we focus on uh, six main verticals, which are food security, energy security, waste, water, mobility, pro and product. So these are main six items that we consider the sustainability and which are the social uh, aspects, uh, economy and environment in order to improve the performance of all these activities. That would be reflected to our uh, sustainability and to our all residents who are living inside the sustainable city. And right now you have cities in Dubai, Sharjah, and Abu Dhabi. Do you have any other places where the sustainabilities yeah. are so built? The, the concept was successful. Uh, we started in Dubai and we moved to Sharjah, another sustainable city in Sharjah. Then we moved to Abu Dhabi, another sustainable city in Abu Dhabi. And now we change a bit the concept and we made it harder to us, which is net zero emission cities. And we are now developing a net zero emission city in Oman. It's called the Sustainable City UT. And how does a net zero, net, sorry, what was it called? The net zero emission city. So how does a net zero emission city look like? So uh, basically, when you need to consider net zero emission city, you need to make sure that the carbon emissions are almost zero during the operation, uh, which is some challenges that we talk and we consider during the design stage to run the demand itself, to reduce the demand and make it very efficient. So this means that you consume the uh, same, uh, I would say, uh, uh, you uh, utilize the same amount of energy but with an efficient way mm. so you reduce the waste and this is the concept itself also we have like we produce uh, uh, food within the city itself so uh, um, in, in the sustainable city Dubai we have a certain percentage of production of food so we have biodomes 11 biodomes and these biodomes uh, we produce veggies we produce fruits and these would be distributed to the residents. While in, uh, in Oman, for example, the net zero emission city, in Oman we produce more than about 70% of our needs of food and uh, of, of food from it the city itself in, oh, wow. and from energy, 100% of mm. energy that we need from the city itself. So this is this what will so make the difference. So it's fully sustainable, the city. So it's totally fully sustainable. And yeah. I mean, you started the company in 2012, right? Yes. A lot has happened we since started then. the first uh, uh, construction in 2012. 2012. A lot has happened since 2012, especially when we think about technology and Dubai, especially is this futuristic city. Um, so, how have you incorporated technologies such as AI or any other merging, merging technologies into building cities sustainably? Of course, the technology is a major part of executing the concepts of the sustainability. So sustainability is a practice, an understanding of the way of the life and implemented this way of life. But now how to reflect this and to implement it in real, so in this case we need a proper technology. And now technology is not, uh, uh, we need to reduce the human factor within the technology itself and accordingly make sure that we run uh, uh, based on the uh, efficient way, which is in this case, the IO, IoT, AI are uh, contributing significant role in order to reach to the optimum level of operation. Mm -hmm. An optimum level of operation in e all the systems, in the water consumption, including energy consumption, as well as the food production, 
that we utilize the artificial intelligence in order to increase the efficiency and the optimum level of the operation. And do you think going forward, AI or even other technologies such as blockchain will play a bigger role when building sustainable cities? Uh, definitely. So when we build the uh, sustainable city, we need to build with it the uh, carbon budget, carbon emission budget. So in order to build the carbon emission budget and link the carbon emission budget from the systems that would contribute to emit the uh, uh, GHG gases, so we need also to consider that the people who are living there would be also contribute in the carbon and contribute on reducing the carbon emission. In order to do this, of course, we need the blockchain, we need transparency, and we need to link the uh, performance and digitalize uh, these concepts into our uh, the end dashboard and, it, and would be, of course, exchanged and reflected to the people who are living in in order to feel that they have done something and they see the results and accordingly they are improving and, of course, this all will help to, uh, toward the sustainability and to support the target, which is our target 2050 yeah. at zero cities. And also for the people that live there, they are living in a nicer, greener, and more healthier environment. Uh, and you were one of the speakers today. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, what were the key messages that you wanted to talk about and what discussions did you want to have? The key message is that sustainability now it's a must. Uh, it is not that uh, uh, luxury. So we need to live, we need to feel sustainability, to live with sustainability, to practice sustainability, because at the end this will impact positively on us, on our environment, on the, our, our uh, uh, planet Earth. So uh, it's, it's now important, and in order to do that, we have all the businesses, all the corporates to consider the sustainability in their services, in their products, in their activities, even the people themselves, they need to consider the uh, sustainability and reach to, uh, of course, the, mm. as much as we can to achieve the target of uh, and reduce the climate change and target of the uh, sustainability. When it comes to properties and spe specifically, because in Dubai it's, one of the a major industry. Is there anything that you would like to r raise awareness to when it comes to um, promoting more sustainable practices? Definitely. Uh, so this is something that people sometimes think that sustainable is so expensive. And in order to do sustainability, we have to uh, put a lot of capex. Uh, but at the end, if you uh, compare the sustainability with the other, why is sustainability or to compare the some a kind of engineering inside sustainability with the conventional system so you will feel that there is no much amount that top you did not top up that much amount this is first however whatever you will top up on the top and add a premium so you will get it back within uh, less than five years because sustainability will secure efficient operation less of waste and at the end will secure the uh, uh, minimum uh, uh, contrib minimum energy consumption and a minimum energy cost as well. So it's a win, 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 win. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me. It was very interesting. Thanks so much. Thank you. My pleasure. And thank you, Web3, for watching. I'll be bringing you more interviews, so stay tuned.